another beautiful day in the UK today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Wednesday and um, yeah, lovely weather. So I am about to go and sit outside and do a little bit of editing. Um, Avery is having a nap. Oh, that's bright. So I thought it would just be nice to do a little bit of editing outside today or oh, for the next few minutes while um, Avery's asleep and I've only actually got until one o'clock because I have Zach's um, SEN review meeting uh, via Teams. Luckily I don't have to go in, I can do it over Teams um, with his school just to check to see how he's doing and review his EHCP. Um, had some very exciting news a minute ago. A little while ago I applied for some funding um, from uh, an organisation that specialises in funding for children with disabilities um, for a new stroller, a new push chair. Um, so if you guys have been following me for a while you've heard me talk about our push chair. I use the iSafe Baby Sale and I absolutely love it as a push chair, I really do. Um, trying to be quiet because my neighbours are outside. Um, I absolutely love it as a standard push chair however I've said time and time again it doesn't really fully support Avery's posture and considering she's in it often um, it's not ideal. So the one that um, we're going to be getting is the special tomato EIO push chair and um, I was told today that the funding was approved um, so Avery will be getting that. Um, it wasn't fully funded, I had the option to make a donation towards the cost so I have donated £100. I think the push chair itself is worth quite a bit, I think it's worth about seven to 800 so I'm happy that I was able to donate just a little bit. Um, and I'm just really hoping that it will support her posture a bit better. Um, even if the push chair itself doesn't, I can actually then go on to get the special tomato insert which Avery used to have a while ago. Um, it was the little blue chair, if any of you remember, um, and that can actually be inserted into the push chair for even more posture support. Um, Avery doesn't have one of those, but I can uh, either speak to Avery's therapists or um, there are other organisations that would be able to help because th this equipment is just so expensive, like way more expensive than it should be. Um, but anyway. I am going to crack on and get a little bit of editing done before Zachary's um, send review meeting and enjoy this beautiful sunshine while we still have it because I think the weather is meant to turn in the next few days. Quick little update, um, Zach's send review went really really well. Uh, little madam is now awake from her nap. Hi baby! <laughs> Hi! Oh, what's that? Are you watching the ball? Ready? Whoosh! <laughs> um, so yeah, his send review went really well. It sounds as though they kind of um, experience a lot of the same challenges, or should I say Zach experiences the same challenges in school as he does at home. Um, so in the vlog that I filmed on Zach's birthday, so Zach's birthday birthday vlog, I will link that down below if you've not seen it. I talked about all of the things I notice um, in terms of the symptoms or the characteristics of his autism and uh, where his kind of weaknesses lie and what he finds challenging. So check that one out if you are interested in how his autism affects him, but it does sound as though it's quite consistent um, at home and at school. So, not to say that it's, it's good, but it's good to know that it's not just something that happens at home, it is kind of across the board, which does kind of confirm to me that it is probably just characteristics of his autism. Uh, we talked a little bit about secondary school, and um, I mentioned my concerns about him travelling to secondary school. Um, again, I mentioned in his birthday vlog that... Um, here where we live they're expected to get regular public transport and I just I would not feel comfortable with that happening not Zach on his own um so we are going to try and see if we can get him transport um through the government I suppose 
um, but yeah, we'll, we'll tackle that a little bit closer to the time. We have a little bit more time before he goes to secondary school and I'm gonna grasp to that time with my life because I am not quite ready to have a child in secondary school. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get little madam in her stander in a minute because it's nearly that time of day I'm glad she's had a good nap. So hopefully she will have some energy to um, Spend a fair bit of time in the stander. I've got a few bits to get done in the kitchen So hopefully that should keep her occupied for a little bit. I was considering popping out into town this morning just thinking that maybe We could get out of the house for a little bit and it kind of just dawned on me like between Avery Speeds and any other appointments that we have in the day and the school runs and Avery's nap time and me actually feeding myself and getting Avery in her stand up for us to actually get out of the house my day needs to be pre-planned I've kind of realised that because there's just so much that we need to fit in in each day even on just a normal school day like today um, so we didn't end up going into town long story short but that's fine um, managed to get a few other bits and bobs done around Do you know what actually I haven't actually managed to get that much stuff done because it feels like every time I sit down to do something that I want to get done um, I need to get up again for something else so uh, yeah but we are continuing oh, continuing on with our um, little routine. Are you going to try and keep your head centered? I might actually speak to Avery's physio and ask her to bring these sides in a little bit just to stop her head flopping from side to side. I see you. Something else um, that I really wanted to mention and I don't actually think I have yet is... What are you doing? Um, Avery's... Avery's physio is actually referring Avery for hydrotherapy, which I think will be so amazing, wouldn't it? It would be so amazing. Avery loves the water. Um, we've discovered that over the last year, but especially when we were in Orlando, she was such a water baby. She just wanted to be in the pool all the time. So for her to be able to do therapy while in a pool, I think will be really, really, really good for her. So she's going to get her referred for that. There is a hydro... <coughs> There's, there is a hydrotherapy pool at the hospital. So we can get a bus there, can't we? And I just think it would be really, really good. Um, also, I've spoken to Little Harbour to see if we can get another stay in over the summer holidays. However, I'm not sure how possible it's gonna be just because our weekends are getting pretty busy pretty quickly. And um, a weekend really only makes sense to do it because um, of Josh and work and I could do with the extra pair of hands having Josh there and he really likes to go too. So we'll see if that happens. I really hope it does because it would be nice to go back to Little Harbour, especially in the summertime. I don't think we've really got to experience a good kind of weekend visit over the summer before. They have beautiful gardens there so I'm really hoping that we can get there this summer. Um, but anyway, I keep looking at my watch. My Fitbit said it had an update and it's literally been updating all day long and I keep going to look at my wrist and it's not there and it's really frustrating me. I have 45 minutes until we need to go and get the boys from school so I still need to do the dishes, get the washing in, put that away and um, prep dinner. Oh, it's okay. Prep dinner for tonight. Um, I didn't manage to finish edit editing my video so I'll probably carry on with that once Avery's gone to bed tonight. Oh, she was sick everywhere last night. It was awful. She hadn't been sick for so long, but it was almost like she had a tickly cough. It didn't sound raspy, but she just kept coughing and coughing and coughing, and then all of a sudden it all came out. So I don't know if she had a nasty tickle or what, but it was horrible. Um, so we had some cuddles, didn't we? We had some cuddles again before you went to bed, and then you went to sleep just fine. She, I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx myself, but... Um, touch wood she's been sleeping through the night brilliantly recently i'm telling you it's every time she's ill and she brews an illness for weeks and weeks and weeks that's when we know that she is going to get ill when she starts to sleep badly when she starts to wait through the night or won't go to sleep at night or wakes up stupidly early it's all these little telltale telltale signs 
when we know she's gonna get ill but i'm really hoping she's on the back end of it now we've just got a shift to this cough she's sleeping much better her reflux isn't as bad she wasn't being sick anymore except last night but it is actually father's day this weekend so um i'm hoping she's feeling a bit better by then because um we're gonna go and um spend the day out we're gonna go to my we're gonna go to my mum and dad's for uh, a lunch and then we are gonna go over and see Josh's mum and dad. Um, I've got um, some cute gifts for my dad and uh, for Josh for Father's Day so I will show you those a bit later on in this vlog. Probably tomorrow now because for now I just need to crack on, stop procrastinating and get these dishes done! morning guys it is thursday literally just now dropped the boys off at school um i think avery and i are gonna pop into town um just to get us both out of the house for a little bit i'm just um bringing up something the boys left downstairs i want to try and find some like matching um ring binders and um box files because um our paperwork cupboard is getting a little bit overwhelming um it's such a mess and we're forever getting letters for avery that i need to like file put away and um zach has a folder as well with all his medical bits eli not so much because he doesn't really have a whole lot of kind of medical documentation i don't really think he has any because he's never really had any issues close that window um and then we have you know just our regular paperwork like bills and whatnot so it's looking a bit of a mess i also keep um like envelopes in there i keep photos in there i keep um the kids red books in there i'll show you what i'm talking about this is our paperwork cupboard down there is all the boys, boys kind of drawing and whatnot uh that needs a good organized but this in particular is driving me insane to look at it and I just feel like if everything was kind of put away in either box files or folders that are matching I think it will look much nicer and make me feel a bit less overwhelmed every time I'm trying to put away Avery's medical documents. Avery has been a little bit grumpy this morning so I'm hoping she does well. In the push chair, hey pretty, she's got some gorgeous little space buns in today on you birds. Yeah that's better. That's better, baby girl. So I'm just kind of uh, whizzing around trying to get things done. I've got to take the um, bin bags out as well. The washing machine is on. I'm planning to um, put that washing away when we get back. It's going to be warm today, so it should be plenty of time for it to dry. Um, yeah, I've got to put the bins out because it's bin day. And what else do I need to do? Oh, also... Um, I had a text last night to say that Avery's push chair is coming tomorrow, so that's really exciting. So I'll definitely show you that in this vlog and uh, test it out. I'm really hoping that Avery tolerates it well. She needs a better push chair. Um, 
I just feel like she'd feel so much more comfortable in it because in her posture at the moment what she does is kind of slopes to the side she flops this way and uh, it doesn't look comfortable and I know it's not going to be doing her posture any good so hopefully hopefully this one is better and she tolerates it um also I've been noticing that Avery has been twitching a little bit um just like these split second twitches i notice it mostly kind of in her head and neck so she kind of just goes like that but much faster like like a twitch like a jerk um she did it a couple of times a few months ago and then i thought that's something i should keep an eye on but i've noticed it kind of every morning recently and um they're not kind of timeable they're not in a rhythm or anything it's just a split second and then she might have another one a bit later so she'll have like a few in the span of an hour or two so I've just sent her community nurse a text just to ask if she is um, going to be seeing either of her um, paediatricians because she normally is around them. Um, see if she can bring it up with them. It's easier for her to get hold of them than it is for me to get hold of them. Um, just to see if it's something I should be worried about or if it could just be like a characteristic of her cerebral palsy or her dystonia or I don't know. So I just think it's best to kind of let them know what's going on, make sure it's normal and if it's not then get it investigated because I know, um, I, did, I did a little bit of research and I know that um, um, I think they're called myoclonic movements, I might be saying that completely wrong but um, it says they can be normal in children but then they can also um, be linked to epilepsy and if there's any developments in Avery's epilepsy then we really need to know about it so I'll keep you updated on that. We're back from uh, town and uh, Avery's in a stander a little bit early today because we actually have Zach's class assembly to go to this afternoon um, so we need to leave a bit earlier because I can't get in at the gate I normally go through because it's the middle of the school day I need to go all the way around which means it cuts into about 45 minutes of her usual stander time so we're doing it now. So Avery started to cry like literally five minutes out of the house and I knew that was going to happen just based on what her mood was like this morning. So I did take a baby carrier knowing that that was probably going to happen. So I ended up putting her in the carrier and walking all around town and then all the way back up that massive hill with her in the carrier. So. I think I've definitely done my exercise for the day. I did pick up a couple of bits. Um, we popped into Primark and I know I said that I'm not going to be buying Avery any more clothes anytime soon. I couldn't resist these things. So first, I found this in the sale. This is a little Rain Mac. Now she does have a Rain Mac already, a little pink one, which is really cute. But this one's in that gorgeous beige colour just gonna pop her back a little bit. I think she might be slightly tired. But anyway, the reason I actually picked it up was because it was on sale. It was six pounds, which really isn't bad. And I'm hoping, oh, baby girl, you are really making me work today, aren't you? Um, I'm really hoping that I will actually be able to get her in this. Um, when the weather gets a little bit chillier, maybe in the autumn, because we didn't really use her Rain Mac, her pink one last year. Um, mainly because most of the time when we went out, we were um, in the car, basically. And I don't put coats on her in the car, you're not supposed to, because of the padding and whatnot. Um, but anyway, I just really love the colour of this. And I did buy it in a few sizes up. So this is 24 to 36 months. And even though she technically should be in this size now... It's okay. She is two sizes down from this still. She's in 18, no, she's in 12 to 18 now. So she's still got to get through 18 to 24 before she gets to this size. But I also thought that a bigger size would be much easier to get on her with her arms being so stiff. And it might actually be a bit more comfortable for her. What's this? What's this? Do you like it? And then the next thing I picked up was actually something that I saw last time we went, but I talked myself out of buying it and then I saw it again this time and I was like, I can't leave it there again this time. What's this? Ooh, look how pretty. It is this gorgeous little cream summer dress. I love this so much. This is perfect for the summer. Again, I bought this in two sizes up so this is tw uh, 24 to 36 months as well but i thought it's beautiful <laughs> yes 
it's beautiful as a dress and then if she outgrows it which will probably be lengthways before anything else it would be a beautiful top with some leggings wouldn't it hey eh? but i i couldn't resist it a second time i absolutely adore this little dress then i also picked myself up some new slippers because the ones i'm wearing now have well and truly had their day i mean josh bought these for me for christmas and i think i've worn them every single day for multiple hours for the last <coughs> six months it's okay what do you think do you like mummy slippers um primark's chipper slip chippers primark slippers are really affordable these were only five pounds and i just really like the colors and considering <coughs> Considering I pretty much wear slippers all day every day, I thought it would be nice to have a nice new pair. I like the ones with the hard bottoms as well, just because I find it nicer on my feet. So it's currently about um, half twelve, quarter to one. And um, I've mentioned a couple of times before that the school is literally right over the road and I was looking out my bedroom window a minute ago and I can actually see Eli doing his PE practice in the field. <laughs> it is so cute. I love being able to see him. Sometimes I kind of wish that he'd look over so I could wave at him but then I know that I'd probably make him feel sad that he's not home and I am. Um, but I just think it's really cool that I can see him in school from where we live. That was a bit of a sidetrack. What I did actually go into town for, I did end up picking up. So I'm just going to turn you around. I am currently trying to hold the camera and kind of move Avery around a little bit to keep her calmer. But I bought, um, did I buy five or six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these little ring binders. And then I also bought three box files. They were three for two at WH Smith's. Um, so I also picked up these little dividers as well since they were going to be free anyway and I thought they would be really handy to divide up Avery's medical docs and I think I should be able to get everything that is in that cupboard in those so that's probably going to be a project for maybe another day. I also grabbed um, some strong um, plastic wallets from Wilkinson's as well. So hopefully I will make that cupboard look much nicer. That was kind of like one of the little things on my list. I've made a list of all the little like spaces in the house that I really want to make look more organised and just more, it's okay, more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so yeah, that cupboard was one. Um, the next thing I really want to do is, it's okay. I really want to make some photo books, some really nice, um, nice looking photo books that can kind of double up as like coffee table books or something or just look really nice on shelving. Um, and I want to make like one of each of the kids' baby photos. It's okay. Um, one of our trip to Orlando, maybe one of our trip to Paris, um, one from our wedding. And then over time, I'm hoping to have this big collection of photo books that would be a really nice family heirloom to pass down then because it will be photo albums essentially um but i've I'm, i've been shopping around and i just need to make sure i'm kind of happy with which company i go with because once i've got one i want to make sure they're all kind of cohesive so um i need to get them all from the same place another one is to organize the kitchen cupboards get some nice containers i really like the glass containers with kind of the wooden lids um i want to kind of replace all of my like baking pans they're all looking a bit grubby um i'd like to get some nice kind of ceramic ones really but all of that kind of takes money so it will take time um there was lots more on the list um but i'm hoping that month by month I might be able to get through some of them the kitchen will be a big one that will probably take me a long time but yeah I just think once I've got all those little bits done and it's neater to look at it will just make me much happier every time I open a cupboard and everything's neat and organized and in pretty containers or pretty folders um that's the kind of stuff that brings me joy and I know I'm not the only one I think when you get to the point where you hit a certain age Things like that just bring you a lot of joy. And guys, I am in the last few weeks of my 20s. I turn 30 in about two and a half weeks. So, um, woo! Oh my goodness, Avery! I can't believe we caught that 
on camera. You're so strong. That's funny, but you're not supposed to be like this. Okay, so this is not the first time Avery has broken a piece of equipment, but she's just managed to push the headrest off of the stander. Um, luckily, it's simple to fix, so I can do it myself, but um, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to get the physio to readjust the headrest for me because that was a little bit scary like what if i wasn't behind her so by request um i thought i'd show you what i meant in my video the other day by uh ready steady go i said that this is something that we do it's kind of a form of therapy so i've got my bowl and spoon here this is what i had my breakfast out of this morning and this is kind of her favorite thing it's what she recognizes the most um because we do this every single day um because she sits on my lap when I eat my breakfast. So I will show you how we do it. Ready, steady, go! Stop. Do you want some more? Do you want some more? Yes. Ready. Steady, go! Stop! Avery's turn. Avery's turn. Can Avery take the spoon? Good job. Avery's turn. Ready, steady, go! Stop! Again. Yeah, go on in. Ready, steady, go! Stop! Avery do it. Avery do it. Good girl! Clever girl, well done! Avery do it. Clever girl! Avery do it. Go on in. Go on in. Ever. and it's just little things like that little activities like that that over time will really help her development have you still got that spoon right now she's trying to bring it to her mouth um, but because of her arm she can't quite reach it so I usually just give her a helping hand the spoon's got nothing on it by the way it's literally just the sensation that she wants and she just wants to feel it with her face you see good girl Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, there's the spoon. Good girl. Oh, two hands. So we are gonna go off into the kitchen now. It's okay. And do our usual routine. Dishes, get things ready for dinner tonight and uh whatever else i can find to do because this little madam is getting fussy just standing here with me Good morning guys, another new day. I've just dropped the boys off at school. Um, making homemade pizzas for dinner tonight. So that is what you saw me doing this morning. I'm using the bread maker. I'll kind of talk a little bit more about how I've done that a little bit later on today. But um, I'm about to fill my nails for the wedding we have to go to next week, my brother-in-law's wedding. I'm making the wedding cake, which is gonna take up a lot of my time next week, which means I'm really not gonna have time to do this. So I'm doing it a week in advance, they should last fine. And um, one of my lovely subscribers asked if I could show how I do them. So 
happy to oblige. So I've already kind of filed and buffed down my nails. I think I mentioned in my last vlog or maybe even the vlog before that, that my nails kept breaking because they were kind of coming to the end of their life. So I have kind of been doing a few one by one as and when I've needed to, because it only takes me 10 minutes to fix one. But it means that I don't actually have to do a full set. I think there's like six nails that I need to do fully. And then I've just buffed down um, the ones that I've already done really slightly. And I'm just going to um, put a fresh top coat on them to make them look new and shiny. Um, but essentially, when I file them down, literally all I'm doing is getting rid of any lumps and bumps. And um, making sure the shape is nice again. And then I just need to fill where the regrowth is so first i'm just going to take some nail prep and wipe and wipe over my nails this just cleans them and gets rid of any dust um i buy my stuff from kind of all over the place ebay amazon um, i like nao nails um i did qualify to do acrylic nails i went and took a course so i am qualified to do it however i find that I learn more on YouTube. Uh, Kirsty Meekin is a really, really, really good YouTuber to watch if you are interested in uh, learning how to do your own acrylic nails. Um, she does some really, really kind of cool, extravagant nails, but then she also has a lot of videos on the basics as well. I'm just using um, my Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator. This just dehydrates the nail plate and um, I'm only putting this where my actual regrowth is so on my natural nail not where the acrylic is already and obviously I'm not putting any on the nails that I have already done and then I'm priming my nails I'm using the Nao Nails Acid Based Primer again only on kind of my natural nail where I'm actually filling and you only need a tiny little bit of this because it's an acid primer um, what I learnt um, through my training can happen if you put too much product on and it kind of seeps into your actual skin is that you can actually give yourself um, allergic reactions so you can make yourself allergic to products. So in terms of actual products I've got this um, very grotty looking part but this is just kind of like a uh, cover pink colour so it's the colour I've got on now. Um, again, I buy my stuff from a mixture of places and then I think I buy this on either Amazon or eBay But this is just my uh, monomer. So my acrylic liquid Just gonna pour a tiny bit of that in this dish and the brush I use I've had for years It's quite grotty now, but I've gotten so kind of used to using it that I'm really reluctant to change it I can't even remember where I bought this from now So I'm gonna try my hardest to actually make this uh, visible for you it's quite difficult doing your nails on camera though, to be honest, I'm not going to lie, but I'm just dipping the brush into the um, into the liquid and then wiping off the excess. I'm doing my little nail here so I don't want too much liquid in the brush because the more liquid you've got in your brush, the more uh, powder it's going to pick up. And then I'm just picking up a small bead of acrylic and then popping it down on my nail. It will kind of settle on its own and then once it's done that I'll kind of tilt my nail this is really difficult to do I will tilt my nail um, downwards so that the product doesn't kind of leak back into my cuticle and then just press and pat it down until it all kind of blends into the nail Doing your own acrylics is definitely a learning curve and it used to take me ages. That is my pinky filled. Now obviously this is only an infill so I really only have to focus on kind of like the cuticle area of my nail. Um, I'll show you my index finger as well just because the pinky nail was really really difficult to see. I'm really not sure if I can get a better angle here. That might be a little bit better. I mean you can see my tripod here but um, hopefully you can see my nail a little bit better. So picking up the liquid, picking up a bead, and then just popping it on the nail. And then I'm just patting and pressing until it blends into the nail. I try to make the shape as nice as possible with the acrylic, but um, 
I do go in with the file afterwards so I don't panic too much if the shape is a bit off because I can always fix that with the file. Acrylic is all on. Um, this hand is set. It's gone really hard. This hand is still setting. So I can start filing this hand and literally all I do is use a uh, 180 grit file. Uh, the lower the number, the rougher the grit. Um, so I'm going to use a 180 grit file, file them into a shape that I like and then put a top coat on them and that's it. It's done. It doesn't take me long to do to fill them at all. Um, obviously this isn't a tutorial, I'm just showing you what I'm doing but if you are actually interested definitely check out Kirsty Meekin because her videos are really educational and I find them really helpful. They've definitely helped me learn how to do it. Nails are all done. I am fairly happy with them. I just am keeping my fingers crossed that they do not break before next Friday so that they can be wedding ready and I don't have to spend any more time doing them because I've got a very busy week next week, haven't I? Um, Zach's class assembly went really well yesterday. Yes, it did, didn't it? Um, it was really, really sweet and um, it made me feel really bad because um, Eli had his class assembly earlier this year and at the time it was literally like maybe a week or two after he had started and I didn't know that parents were supposed to attend. They never did that in um, their old school unless it was like a Christmas play or something. So I didn't know, so I didn't go and um, I mean, I felt bad on the day because Eli came up to me and said, why didn't you come to my assembly? And you guys, the mum guilt was so, so real. And when um, Zach's class assembly had finished, um, oh, what is that? Baby. When Zach's class assembly had finished, um, all the other children kind of went back to their classrooms and Zach's class was allowed to stay so that their parents could go and kind of say hello to them and well done and whatnot. And um, as soon as they said that, I, I just felt awful for Eli. Knowing that all the other parents were there saying hello to everyone and no one was there to say hello to him, I felt... Oh my goodness, I felt so, so, so bad. I mean, Eli has obviously gotten over it. Um, I haven't, um, but I will definitely uh, make sure I attend his class assembly next year. But yeah, I felt really, really bad about it, but Zach did really well. Um, Avery, though, oh my goodness. Um, we had to go the long way around. Do you know, I'm not sure if I've said all this or not before. Um, we had to go the long way round to get to the school because the gate was shut and um, Avery would not go in her pushchair yesterday. She was so unhappy. I am not sure what was going on yesterday. She was just really, really unhappy most of the day. Um, I mean, not that it looks like it. She is doing a lot better today. She's just having a moment, aren't you? Um, and literally within two minutes of leaving the house, I had to scoop Avery up out of the um, push chair and carry her all the way up to the top of the hill and then back down towards the school because that's what we have to do. We have to kind of go back on ourselves to get to the main entrance of the school. My arms were killing me by the end of yesterday. I really don't know what was going on and obviously the heat as well. I think it was like 22 degrees, which I know to a lot of you, especially the those of you that live in America probably won't think that's very hot. This is Celsius, by the way, but for the UK, that is very, very, very hot. I'm not sure if that is what was bothering Avery, but it's really, really strange because she did really well in the heat in Florida. Maybe it's just British heat, eh? Maybe it's just British heat we're not a fan of. Yeah. We have no appointments today, which is actually really, really nice. Um, 
next week Avery has a vision support appointment, don't you? Speaking of which puds, we'd better get your glasses on. We find it really difficult with the glasses. Um, she does wear them, not that you might think she does because she's barely got them on in videos, but she does wear them most days. Um, the issue we get is no matter what she's doing, whether she's in her stander or in her pee pod or on the floor, she finds a way to kind of shift them so that they're digging into the side of her head and then she gets really upset. And also, she's starting to roll a lot. So she's rolling from back to front now, which is absolutely amazing. But if she happens to do that while she's wearing her glasses, they really get stuck in and it really upsets her. And I'm scared it's gonna traumatize her for rolling over. Um, when she rolls, obviously she doesn't really have much use of her arms, so she does get stuck. <laughs> but what she tends to do is she has like, um, an hour where she just wants to keep rolling so I'll roll her back over and then she'll roll again and get stuck so I'll roll her back over and then she'll roll again and get stuck so in the end I do just kind of let her be on her tummy thinking that that is what she probably wants but then she gets fussy on her tummy um so I don't know I think she's probably just kind of exploring what she can do at the moment which is really really nice it's nice to see you learning new skills isn't it pudding? Hey? She has rolled before. She's been rolling for a long, long time, but never kind of consistently like she is now. And we like to celebrate every single little milestone, don't we, pudding? And that is kind of what happens with every single developmental leap with Avery. It happened with smiling, rolling, laughing. She'll do it once and then she won't do it again for a long time. And then over the next sort of um, six months, She'll do it maybe once, twice, three times, not often, and then all of a sudden she'll start to do it loads. So with her laughing, she did a big belly laugh um, last year, I think, and um, she didn't do it again for a really, really long time. And then she did it again in March, and now we can get her to do it quite often. It's still not consistent, um, but I know that it will happen because the same thing happened with smiling. Um, so I know that she she is going to be laughing all the time one day, aren't you, Pudin? Hey. Eh? Same with rolling. I know that that will develop because it's just how everything goes for her. So like I said earlier, I'm making homemade uh, pizzas for dinner and um, I actually make the dough in our bread maker. So we had this bread maker a couple of years ago as a gift from my mother and father-in-law, Josh's mum and dad, and we absolutely love it. We do make bread in it. Um, Josh actually really likes the bread from this, and um, he used to make it all the time, like literally he'd make it for work, so we'd make about three loaves a week. It got to the point um, around COVID time that we struggled to find strong white bread flour, and um, it kind of just tailed off from there, um, but we do still use it. I love to make, um, pizza dough in it because I can shove everything in there and it's done. I can leave it. The dough's made and then all I've got to do is take it out and let it sit for a bit. Down here, not that you can see, but I actually have um, a pizza dough that the bread maker just made. So I'm going to make a second one because I'm going to split each one into two. Um, Marley is with us tonight. Um, so I need to make sure there's enough for what I do find with homemade pizza dough is that it is much more filling than the regular pizzas that you buy in the shop and it's actually a lot cheaper for me because I already had a lot of these ingredients it was actually a lot cheaper for me to make homemade pizzas than buy ready-made pizzas. That is amazing in an ideal world but obviously I don't always have the time to make homemade pizzas but I do today so I thought it would be a nice change. The bread maker actually came with like a recipe booklet for all different settings. So how you make each kind of bread and how you make pizza dough or what ingredients to put into the bread maker. Um, I can't seem to find it, but I have found the, um, the recipe book online. So I'm just following that. The ingredients you need for this pizza dough are literally just water, olive oil, salt, caster sugar, yeast, and... Um, strong white bread flour. You can add herbs if you want to. Um, 
that does seem like a lot of ingredients but like i said we already had um pretty much all of this here already so i just thought i would make the pizza dough i'm about 20 grams short of the flour so i think i'm just going to add 20 grams of plain flour just so that i don't have to open a whole new bag of um strong white bread strong white bread flour wow say that three times fast and then you literally need one gram of yeast then once everything's in there you haven't got to do any mixing you just pop it i can actually get it in pop it straight in the bread yeah i've got it set to the dough set in and press start so I really wanted to show you what I've actually got my dad and Josh for for this day. I've got Avery down here smiling at me. Do you want to come and say hello? Do you want to come up? Do you want to come up? Yes, come on then. Personally, I think Mother's Day and Father's Day have been made way too commercial. So when I was younger, I would pick my mum some daffodils from the garden, I would make her a card and I would take her breakfast in bed and my mum absolutely loved that and I always say to Josh every year, well I tell him that story basically, you know, as a hint that that is more than enough for Mother's Day, really the day is just about spending with your children or your own mum or grandparents or whoever is a mother or father figure in your life. So I've only picked my dad and Josh up something small. For Josh, um, he is really into his skincare at the moment. His skin definitely takes a beating in the line of work that he is in. So I bought him this little high-end, um, like, travel kit i suppose um i just thought it's some nice little products that he can try and um who knows if he really likes them he can go ahead and buy the full size but this is the filgora uh -huh. and i'm pretty it's okay i'm pretty sure i picked this up from look fantastic um but it just comes with a smoothing radiance mask double correction serum intensive revitalizing three-in-one eye contour cream and a daily multi-purpose cream so i know josh will enjoy um trying out these little bits and then he's got his little uh travel case there that you can use for toiletries in the future and then for my dad i always struggle with my dad because i feel like all the trinkets that i could have bought him i've kind of got him already so i tend to always go for something personalized so i bought him this now this is a little bottle opener plaque. My dad um, and my mum actually, they both really enjoy sitting in the garden in the summertime. They've got their little kind of gazebo and they've even got like a shelf built into their fence so they can put their TV out there in the summer and watch the football and stuff. So I just thought it'd be really nice for him to be able to screw this into the fence. It does have the little holes there. And then he's got his little bottle opener there on the wall when he fancies having a bottle of beer. And it says, cheers to pops. You'll always be our superhero. Pops is what my children call my dad. So he is Pops, he's not granddad. And um, on the front here, there's some little like cartoons and they're all supposed to represent my dad and the kids. So we've got Pops, Zachary, Marley, Avery down here is the little baby and Eli. So I just thought that would be really, really sweet. I know he'll appreciate it. And I also know that he will get a lot of use out of it. So just some really small little bits to show my appreciation for my dad. And then something nice for the kids to give to Josh that I know he will really appreciate. Oh dear, this is what I'm talking about with the glasses. They just never stay in place. So I need to kind of get those put into gift bags and um, I've got their cards to write, write out as well. I've been waiting for a good time when the kids can help me write them when Josh isn't around. I'm still waiting on the push chair. Apparently it's gonna be here between half two and half three. Um, I am really hoping it's kind of between half two and quarter past three, otherwise I have to go and do the school run. I might just leave a note on the door if that's the case. It is Avery's feed time now though, so um, mummy better get cracking, ain't she? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, sweet girl? <laughs> yes. The push chair is here. So it took me about half an hour to set it up, so it wasn't bad at all. I thought the instructions were really easy to follow, but 
Here it is. This is the special tomato EIO push chair. Um, I like it as far as I know so far. Um, it has a pretty good sun canopy, which is really nice. It also has a little viewing window, which I like because we found that was missing in our normal push chair. It's got a little pocket at the back here so we can actually pop things in. It's got two little side pockets here, which I like. And then on the inside, it has the adjustable footrest so I can actually take this down um, when Avery gets longer. It's got a pretty decent harness system, which is kind of what I was looking for. I was looking for a good supportive five point harness which is what this has got and then it also has the side laterals here the lateral pads just to keep Avery a little bit more snug and secure and then it has the headrest up here the folding system is quite easy too from what I found at the moment you just have to un velcro these two sides and then um, disengage this pull this and this both up and then it will fold down but i don't want to fold it down right now i want to keep it up so i'm gonna pop this velcro back over i know pudding i can hear you then let's get little missy in it and see what she thinks oh do you think so as i get used to this i really won't need to kind of undo and redo all of these straps every time Where's that strap gone? Every time I put her in it, I would imagine I'll just get used to which ones are easiest to clip and unclip just to get her in and out of it. She's in. This will be perfect as she grows. As you can see, she has got a ton of room to grow in it, which I'm really excited about. Canopy is nice. We'll cover her nicely. And it does recline as well. Um, I don't want to recline it just now, just because I don't want to, don't want to make Avery mad. Cause she seems quite happy in it, don't you? What do you think? Whee! And she does look very comfortable. As far as uh, posture support goes, to be fair, I am actually really happy with how she's sitting. I'd say she could potentially do with. Oh, it's okay, baby. She could potentially do with um, maybe some head support, but here and here, these are actually kind of uh, tucking her in nicely. I'm thinking once I've sorted out the shoulder strap situation, that might just hold her in place a little bit better as well. But compared to how she sits in her other push chair, I am very, very, very happy with this. What do you think? What do you think? You're sitting much better, Pudding. That's much better, isn't it? She's not sloped or flopping anywhere. You're nice and upright. She's in a really good posture. What do you think? Hey? Yay! Big girl push chair. It's a big girl push chair. And she's really happy in it. So I'm happy. Yes, mommy's happy. Should we take to the school running this in a bit? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to test this out um, when we do the school run in a minute. Hello. And um, see how she gets on being outside in it. It's not too sunny today, but it is bright out there. So it'll give us a good chance to test out that sun kind of view, won't it? But just off the get-go i'm just really happy with how kind of centered she is normally she would be kind of all the way over to the side by now in her other push chair um so yeah i think this was a win um if you did want any more details the company that we used the charity that we used was called new life and like i said you can apply for particular equipment if you have the support of a professional which we did we had avery's therapist write a supporting letter for us Avery's a physiotherapist um, you get the option to make a donation of the total cost of the item that you are looking for uh, we donated a hundred pounds towards this push chair and I believe that to buy these off the market they are around seven to eight hundred pounds I'm yeah really really happy with this excited to um, test it out properly are you a bit refluxy there baby girl
it is a little bit later now and i am actually gonna close out this vlog i've actually still got all of this push chair mess to clean up because i literally just ripped everything out of the boxes and then left it all um so yeah uh hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this little vlog and subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you in a few days with another video bye guys